Rob Smith is with us. Hey, Rob, I know you're an Iraq war veteran. You're a gay black man. What do you make of this plan to eliminate diversity officers? Well, I think it's absolutely right. In fact, you know, um, I read about this yesterday, and here's the thing, uh, Stuart, about this whole role, right? So this role as the chief diversity officer for the Pentagon did not even exist not only two years ago. So this is a very new role, okay? And the military does not need this, okay? I served in the military for over five years. It is one of the most diverse working places I have ever experienced in my life. In fact, it was the only place I'd had a black boss before I started working for myself, okay? Um, and you have to understand that this isn't about even something as altruistic, I think, would be to talk about why there aren't enough black officers in the military. It's not about that. Um, what it is about is using the Biden administration's sort of woke ideology and sort of infecting the United States military with that. So I think that Chip Roy is absolutely right to propose this bill. And I really do think that now that the Republicans are controlling the House, they should vote for this bill. Um, they should bring it to the floor. They should talk about it. They should debate it because people need to know exactly what is going on with the wokeification of the military. Next one, Rob. An explosion of anger from the squad after Elon Omar was voted off the Foreign Relations Committee. We're going to roll this tape again. Roll it, please, now. This is about targeting women of color in the, in the United States of America. Don't tell me, because I didn't get a single apology Time has expired. when my life was threatened. The GOP is now doing what it is best at weaponizing hate against a black, beautiful Muslim woman. The gentlewoman's time has expired. I will not be silenced. The gentlewoman's and time has Congress expired. To Omar, the I gentlewoman's am so time sorry, has expired. Sis, that our country is failing you today through this chamber. You the, belong the gentlewoman in that is no longer... Okay, Rob. Uh, I say she's off the committee because of her anti-Semitic comments. It's not racism. It's not okay. discrimination against women of color. It's anti-Semitism. What say you? You know, of course, Ilan Omar is off the committee because of our anti-Semitic remarks. I mean, you know, the people were pretty much outraged by them. Um, and this has been a long time coming. But, you know, when I see there's nothing more cringe than AOC's sort of like black preacher, black scent voice. It gets worse and worse every time I see it. And just the, uh, the instability of what we just saw from Rashida Tlaib, like these people are sitting congresswomen. This is completely insane. But also, I, I want to make a point as well that AOC and that clip that's been going all around the internet, it's like she's not even, it, it's like she's bored with this role that she's been playing right now. It's like a sitcom that used to be good at the very beginning, but towards the end of the years, everybody kind of starts phoning it in. And I think that's what AOC is kind of doing right here. It's like she knows she's acting. We know she's acting. We know that that was all about trying to get a viral moment and not about any real feelings that she had because they know exactly why Ilhan Omar got kicked off that committee. Rob Smith. The Douglas Society. Always like to mention that. It's a great, a great idea. Rob Smith, thanks for joining us, sir. Have a great weekend. See you later. Thanks, Stuart. You got it.